Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 video. Hopefully you are all enjoying your day. And as you can see by the title today, what we're going to be looking at is some mods within Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered. But actually, we're going to be looking at the original COD 4 mods because if you don't know, there was a ton of mods back in COD 4 that are still really good in today's age of time. Uh, but basically what's going to be happening quite soon is that most of these mods will be remade into the Modern Warfare Remastered version where there's obviously updated graphics, better sounds to the weapons, basically everything's just going to look so much better once the mods are put onto uh, the remastered version of COD 4. So I thought why not go ahead, look at some of the mods that were originally in COD 4 and we can kind of see what they're going to be like in Modern Warfare Remastered. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button down below. And before we get into the video, I am doing a giveaway. So if you want to play Infinite Warfare or get the game of Modern Warfare uh, Remastered, and you don't actually have it all you got to do is like the video and comment down below why you want uh, this infinite warfare edition with cod 4 remastered and tell me what console you guys want it on all you gotta do like the video comment down below why you want the game and the winners will be announced on my twitter november 10th so starting off in today's video we're going to be looking at the first mod that was featured in cod 4 which we'll get in cod 4 remastered quite soon and that is called vehicle warfare yes you heard me the word vehicle basically as you can see on the screen what you can do is is jump into a jet, jump into a helicopter, and you can actually use the damn thing. It's pretty much like Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 4, pretty much any previous Battlefield games, because as we know, there's vehicles in that game, there's gunfights, but in Call of Duty, more or less, it's just gun on gun action where we just shoot each other. There's no vehicles at all, but with this mod right here, you can actually hop into a jet, and what's interesting is that you can actually lock onto people and kill them. It's the same thing when you also hop into a helicopter as well, and I'm pretty Pretty sure you can only have one person in one of these vehicles at one time. I don't think you can have like a whole squad of like four or five people in there like Battlefield because in Battlefield what you can do is you can have a pilot, you can have a passenger and you can have like two or three people uh, manning mini guns on the helicopter or any other device uh, if it allows them to but apart from that it's pretty cool how some of these mods allow you to go into vehicles and if this wasn't COD 4 remastered I'm telling you the graphics would look insane and of course the models and the textures are a little bit better than what you saw in the video so it probably won't look as glitchy as it is but let me know what you guys think about this mod in the comment section down below so heading into the second mod which we will be getting in cod 4 uh, modern warfare remastered at some stage is death run now death run has been in like gmod i'm pretty sure it's been in csgo as a mod or as a server which you can play on but basically it was also in cod 4 quite a while ago and basically if you don't know what death run is one team has to run a course through all these obstacles and if they fall down trying to do that and they die they have to spectate their teammates and usually I think there's about 20 runners and there's about two snipers and what the snipers have to do is they have to try and shoot you while you're trying to survive on the obstacle itself and basically all you have to do is try to get from one end to the other a lot of people say that this is like cops and robbers as well because there was that game mode in black ops 2 uh, but nonetheless all you've got to do is try and run the whole course without being sniped by one of uh, the cops I guess you could say or one of the death people and all you got to do is run down the course try and not die and boom you've pretty much won it and you've came first place of course in this game it's going to be a little bit different in cod 4 remastered because the graphics are a little bit better and it'll probably take some time before this comes into the game but apart from that it's a really fun mini game that we've seen on youtube quite a while from different funny moments people but i think if they do add this into the game even if it is on consoles i think it will just give more variety to the game because we're kind of bored playing the same tdm and domination and obviously adding in these little mini games would definitely be good uh, for the lifespan of the game because obviously we'll just keep carrying on but unfortunately as we all know mods do come to pc in call of duty never comes to console but that'd be cool if they changed it and they implemented it on console i think that'd be insane but nonetheless hopping into the next mod on the list which is the third one is going to be paintball now paintball mod in this game or in cod 4 in general has been around for such a long time and basically as you can see in the gameplay it's just a reskinned call of duty 4 and if this was in modern 
Modern Warfare Remastered, the graphics would look insane. But as you can see, basically now your gun is a paintball gun as it should be because it is the paintball game mode. And what it can do is it can shoot paint out of it just like a real paintball gun. And you can kill or more specifically tag your enemies. And when you tag your enemies, it only takes one shot. And it's a little bit more difficult than normally playing Call of Duty because the paintballs coming out of your weapon when you shoot it actually gets affected by gravity. So it's kind of like Battlefield where the gun doesn't travel straight forward like normal Call of Duty games or normal Call of Duty guns. Instead, our gravity affects it and the bullet drops depending how far away the enemy is. And obviously you got to compensate for it by aiming up a little bit higher so it gets your enemy. And as you can see, it's not really that easy to go ahead and kill someone in this paintball game because you can't aim down your sights. It's hip fire only. And guess what? There's no crosshair to help you at all. So it's kind of uh, skillful in a way. There's a big skill gap where some people who play a lot will obviously be better in this game and as you can tell with the maps as well the maps is redesigned there's no map like this whatsoever uh, in COD 4 but as you can see it's totally changed up it's definitely customized to the extreme because more or less this is kind of like a castle type of fortress map where everything has different choke points there's little windows there's little areas for you to go uh, to go ahead and actually kill people uh, but not only is the map changed and also the weapons and all that jazz there's a few other little bits as well starting off with you have score streaks in this paintball game as well like the UAV I don't believe there's any helicopter streaks or anything like that because it'd be overpowered but normally you can't see your enemies on the mini map but as soon as you get that UAV you can see them right away and what's also interesting is is when you actually get shot and you get tagged or you die yourself from an enemy, a paintball splatter appears in your screen like it would kind of do in real life. So it's a nice little aesthetic feature that they added into the mod. And to be honest, if this came to Modern Warfare Remastered like tomorrow or next month, I think you'd just see an influx of people playing this game because it is super fun. And I don't think anymore it's played by a lot of people on the PC, but I'm pretty sure you can still get into most of these servers now. But if it comes back into Modern Warfare Remastered, they might as well add it into console as well because that'd be insane. But apart from that, that is the paintball mod I personally think it's one of the best ones on this list and it definitely is awesome so heading into the next mod within the list or we're going to be taking a look at it is surfing in Call of Duty 4 so yes surfing leafy is here has surfing from CSGO in his videos all the time. And basically it originated, I'm pretty sure from Valve games uh, like CSGO or Counter-Strike as you'd normally say it. Uh, but basically all you gotta do is glide or jump around from object to object. And sometimes it gets a little bit more difficult because you've gotta do like 180 turns, you gotta do 360 turns. And basically you have to try and think of these decisions as you are gliding and as you're moving straight away. Obviously it gets a little bit frustrating when you die a couple times, but as soon as you start playing it, you get used and the thing I love about this game is it's so peaceful and it's so fun. Usually you rage playing domination or whatever, but when you hop into this game mode, it's so peaceful and it's just such a great game mode. It's really fun uh, when you're with friends and you're trying to beat each other's times. It's really awesome. But as you can see by the graphics, this is on the original COD 4 and it already looks insane. Imagine if it was on the remastered version. I think that'd be pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure it's only going to be a little while before we actually see this because I remember when COD 4 came out, I'm pretty sure surfing only came out like two months after COD 4 came out on PC so if it happens to drop quite soon I'll definitely be making a video on it for you guys so hopping into the last mod we're going to be looking at it is going to be character models so as we know you can edit character models on the PC version of the game to make it basically whatever you want and I'm telling you there's a ton of characters from TV shows and movies that you can turn your character into into this game and basically starting off as you can see what we have here is Captain America and Call of Duty 4 obviously as of now you can edit edit your character in the Modern Warfare Remastered version, but I don't think anyone has done it yet. So as we know for COD 4 at the moment, this is the stuff we're gonna be seeing when the remastered mod of this drops out. But as you can see, Captain America's here. His shield looks very realistic on his back. I wonder if he actually dies if he gets shot in the back, or maybe it acts like a riot shield, I'm not really sure. And the next character model you can see right here is Nico Bellic from Grand Theft Auto 4. I think that looks absolutely insane. And usually when you play these custom game modes like Paintball or Death, Run or vehicle warfare, most of the people in the server have some of these skins on, which I think is insane. And in the next skin, what we have here is the Joker, obviously from Batman. I think that does look pretty cool. And in the next one over here, what we have is 50 Cent, which is quite interesting. Uh, usually they have this as well. I think before in the gameplay on the Death Run, uh, there was a few people with the 50 Cent skin on, so I thought that was quite cool. 
And the second last skin is this guy from Army of Two. Basically, it was a game ages ago. I think a lot of people have forgotten it. And if we head into the last character model, here are a few girl character models. I can't show you guys the one on my thumbnail because they are quite provocative. But if you want me to make a special video or another video dedicated to those character models, let me know in the comment section down below. But apart from that, that is the video. Basically, these are some mods that are in the original Call of Duty 4 that have been out for such a long time, like three or four years and guess what they're going to be coming to call of duty 4 modern warfare remastered quite soon and as soon as it does i'm going to be making videos on it straight away because as we know mods do change the game they make the game so much more better and basically this video was kind of showing you guys the mods that are already in cod 4 that we will be seeing uh eventually when cod 4 remastered uh does get modded out with all the developers doing that type of jazz so nonetheless guys Hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you want me to make another video where I look at mods just like this, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you do want to enter into that giveaway, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below why you want the game and what console you guys want it on. Nonetheless, hope you guys did enjoy and I will catch you guys later. Globe out.